What up, YouTube? So, um, fuck. I messed up. All right. What up, YouTube? I'm Mina Villa. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, so today I am actually on my way to shoot with Top Tier. So this is going to be my first photo shoot with him this year, 2021. Um, I'm going by myself. Um, it's a really early shoot and my baby girl is not really a fan of waking up early. And I mean, I'm an early bird. So, again, I'm most, and I've shot with him before, so, you know, whenever it's, like, a new photographer or, or it's, like, for example, you know that, that I have a new photographer and whatnot, um, I always try to have somebody at least go with me because you never know. It could be sketched and it's just, like, me, like, you're a girl, you know, like, whether you like it or not, a man is always going to have the upper hand because they're just, men are just stronger. Um, so I have my hair done, everything's already packed. Tengo la maleta atrás. And it's going to be like about a two hour drive. So maybe I'll be talking the whole way <laughs> and I'll cut up the video so it's not two hours or you guys will just end up getting behind the scenes. But this is the video in new Mercedes how freaking weird is this you know how strange is this I mean it, it's strange for me because okay a lot of shit has been going on um, since the beginning of the year you know I didn't start off the year how I wanted it to um, start uh, yeah and shit honestly is what it is and I feel like enough time has gone by for me to talk about what has happened, to let y'all know where the f mirror is, to basically just update y'all, you know, and like keep it going from here, honestly, because that's all we can do. And you know, I'm still pushing forward. I'm all right. <laughs> Enough of that chit chat. I gotta drive. I'm gonna put some music on, and I will. I guess I've never really seen myself with these sunglasses. Damn, I look like a fly. <laughs> never wear those again. Okay. So, let's start this off. The beginning of the year, January 4th, I was on my way to work. You know, it was raining a day before. Um, it had just, it was like, it rained in the night. So, in the morning, um, I was expecting uh, the roads to be slippery. Um, it's a Monday. You know, my son is still getting um, homeschooled. That they didn't start the hybrid learning yet. You know, where they're like um, taking classes online at home, and then they're also uh, taking classes like physically at the school campus. Anywho, so it was raining, right? Like I just mentioned. So I'm like trying to. I get up earlier, I get ready like I always do, I make my son's breakfast, I make my breakfast, lunch, whatever, everything is set before I leave. Um, keeping in mind that I gotta leave with enough time in case there is car accidents uh, due to the rain. Um, so I look out the window and it's not even like really like raining anymore, like at this point it's just kind of sprinkling, but I'm still gonna be cautious. So on my way to work, not even like five minutes into like the driving, I am in the farthest um, right lane and I feel my car kind of hydroplane, hydroplane a little bit. And I don't know why, but like I'm, I'm honestly like I'm a very confident driver. I'm always like just driving with a hand like shit like I got this like I know how to fucking drive you know type shit and um I don't know what 
<laughs> like it honestly just kind of like freaked me out a little bit and it, it legit kind of like scared me I don't know why um, and so I put both my hands on the wheel and I'm like okay I felt that like I felt that let me not feel that again decrease my speed I'm already going slow so if I was like going 65 when I normally go 70 75 um, 80 on the freeway I'm going like so I lowered my speed limit even more to um, 60 and then I lowered it even more to 55 keeping a distance in between cars um, staying in I went from the farthest right lane and then I, I went into the middle lane um and just kind of like thinking oh maybe you know i hydroplane because it was like the there was like i don't know hella water on the other lane i don't know you know what i mean so anyways so i'm in the middle lane and then i feel the car hydroplane again and i've done like donuts before i burn rubber like it is not new to me. I just completely lost control of the car. Um, I felt the back um, of the car just kind of like, whoop, you know? And I was like, oh, shit. Like, at this point, I'm just like trying not to hit any cars around me. And my car, so my car at that moment, hydroplane planes the second time. And I, my car, um, like, freaking zooms into the carpool lane and drifts towards the freaking freeway wall and shit. And I hit that, the back of my car hits that, whiplashes, smacks the other side of the wall, whiplashes again, and smacks um, the side of the wall. Like, like, it literally like whiplash, boom, and then boom, you know, and, and boom, and then it finally made a stop. And I'm just like, what the f what the f just happened? Like, what the f Like, I just remember seeing, like, this lady's face, like, in front of me, where she's, like, trying to, um, like, not hit my car. She's, like, swerving, and all I see her, and she's, like, her mouth is just, like, wording, like, oh my god, you know? And, um, so, I mean, my car, honestly, it ended up making that the fuck complete stop. It, like, completely stalled right there. Um, and I was like in shock at this point. I'm just kind of like, I turned my emergency lights on because apparently that's the only thing that's working. And um, I tried calling um, using the OnStar button, but because my car was connected to my phone via Bluetooth, like the connection was in, in between like the freaking, um, the, the golpe. How do you say that in English? Damn, sometimes I forget my English sometimes. Okay, so in medio of the golpe, like, the connection between my phone and the car failed. The OnStar, like, emergency call button wasn't working. My phone to call 911 wasn't also, like, working because of the connection, like, to the Bluetooth. So I had to disconnect the Bluetooth. Meanwhile, like, all these cars are, like, zooming past me. Like, there is, like, this super nice um, gentleman in a white truck with his girlfriend who ended up like stopping and he was like hey you know are you okay like are you good like is like do you need did you call help like can you get the car out of the way and then I'm just kind of like sitting there like no like I can't like I can't move the car like it's it I don't know but it doesn't want to move and he's like oh you know do you want to hop in my truck um and then I was like no I'm okay like I'm not gonna I just got into a car accident I'm like I'm not gonna get into a, a truck with a complete stranger like in the back of my head you know so um anyways so he's like okay you know it, it's fine like don't worry about it you know are you like are you sure like it's it's a lot safer in my car it's like raining at this point it's raining and he's talking to me trying to get me inside his truck because it's safer and like it is safer because it's a truck but still we're on the freeway and he's still a stranger so he just tried to reassure me that his girlfriend was in the truck and I was like no 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 like thank you like I already called help which I hadn't called anybody yet but I was like I already called help you know somebody's on their way freeway patrol is coming and then he goes okay
okay, you know, let me try and um, see if I can get the car out of the way because the way that my car was, I was facing traffic in the opposite direction and my car, like the back of the car was um, smashed up against the freeway wall and the other half was like kind of like in between like the carpool lane, kind of like slanted shit. Excuse my language. Um, and so anyways, um, he, I go into the passenger side and he hops into the driver's side and he's like a big dude and so like big dude in the little Camaro trying to move it. It just, it wasn't working. So, um, he's like, yeah, I, I can't move it. I was like, I, I know, like I told you I couldn't move it either. Um, so he ends up getting into his truck and, um, I ended up just kind of like waiting. Like we both, he waited with me for like five, ten minutes, I think. Um, and then he left and soon after uh, highway patrol arrived I did end up um, getting in talk contact with you know freeway patrol and they sent somebody over and then um, yeah so all that happened in January the beginning of the year man the beginning of the year so like my car was like my everything like if somebody tells you no le pongas amor a las cosas like don't put so much love into materialistic items honestly man like take it as a good consejo you know like take it as like good what is consejo in Spanish? I mean, Engl in English? Consejo, consejo. Anyways, let me think about it. I'll put it. I'll put it right here. Um, so, yeah. Um, like, honestly, just don't put so much love into materialistic items because they could be gone in a freaking instinct. And this, the Camaro, was something that I wanted since I was a little girl. Like, I didn't get like if it was slow if it was fast like i that was like my dream car like that's my camaro that's like my build that's something that's me that i'm gonna customize to my liking you know nobody's gonna have a camaro like this like it was just gonna be on me right there and then in a, in like an instant everything just kind of like vanished know and okay so freeway patrol finally got there and es escorted me off um, the freeway and he asked if I needed a freaking um, a grua here I go again forgetting my English and I said no um, I, I don't need a, a grua you know that I think the car could probably make it to my house I was only like 10 minutes away um, and he was like, okay, do you need me to write anything up for you? And I go, uh, do I really need anything? He goes, well, were you the only person in the accident? And I go, yes, you know. He goes, well, you know, it looks like your car just has body damage. And then in my head, I'm like, okay, body damage. Like, does that, that sounds good. Like, it's not going to be a total loss. I can still fix my baby. Like, I just got to make it home. I made it home. I don't know how. But I made it home. <laughs> and man as soon as I got home I parked my car onto the driveway and like I, I called up my mom and in the mornings like she goes to church and um, for like an hour or so while the accident was happening like
like she was not picking up the phone and um, so like I called my I hit up my girlfriend and I was like hey babe you know like I just got into a car accident she's not like answering either because she's at work so it's like nobody's fucking answering this shit just happened finally I'm like on my way home before I get I get my car parked into the driveway and my mom's like oh my gosh Mija like are you okay like she calls me and then she goes, Mija, are you okay? And I go, yeah, mom, I'm, I'm fine. She's like, do you need an ambulance? Do you need anything? No, I don't. Like, I'm, I'm getting home right now. Just please make sure there's no cars in the driveway. Um, ahorita llego. I'm fine. Like, don't worry about it. As soon as I got home and I parked my car on the freaking driveway. Excuse me. It was, that was it. That was it. Like, my car took its last breath. Within minutes, I'm already calling the insurance so I can report this shit to know what I'm supposed to do. Like, that's the only bad thing about you know getting into a car accident. And stuff like that. It's like nobody tells you, okay, you gotta call this number, you gotta do this, you gotta do that. You know, like there's just so much stress added on to that. And then if you have gap insurance, if you don't have gap insurance, you're screwed. If you have it, then you're screwed. You know, it just kind of depends on your situation type of thing. Um. So yeah, all that shit um, happened and then, so I, I got all the insurance handled, the car was just body damaged, um, my parents have a spare car so they were generous enough to allow me to use their car and man, my daddy's Oldsmobile is falling apart. Like I literally, like I was using their car and that car was falling apart. It was falling apart and I was gonna get yelled at because they were gonna say it was me. But it wasn't me, it's because the car is old, you know? It's like, it wasn't even me, the car is old. Let me keep the car. Fuck. The freaking, while I was like using their car, everything that could go wrong, went wrong. The freaking rear view mirror fell off. The, um, the power windows fucking broke too. This little tapete thing that the cars have at like at the top and shit. Okay, this one has a sunroof. But anyways, the other one doesn't have a sunroof. Um, so the little tapete thing was like coming off so I couldn't like really see. And the freaking the windows weren't tinted so I'm like, oh my god, everyone's gonna see me like driving this car. Like, fuck. <laughs> just kidding, just kidding. I don't really care, but. Anywho, and like this car is just like literally falling apart and I was gonna get in trouble for it. Um, and so I used their car for like about two weeks and my girlfriend got a spare car and you know she was also giving me rides and um, I didn't get a rental because I just there was just a lot going on with the insurance and so many different like numbers that I needed to call that if there was like one less thing I could worry about at that moment then I was going to my body was fucking aching I didn't break anything airbags did not deploy If that was like a good thing because of the impact but literally the Camaro took all the hits you know somebody was like you know what you better be grateful that the airbags didn't deploy because you could have really hurt yourself like um, if I mean it, you know it could have been it could have gone either or way and so anyways you know airbags didn't deploy um, yeah, I was using their car. My girlfriend was giving me rides. What else? So yeah, I was like carless for like almost uh, a month. Yeah, I, I don't even think it lasted like that long. Only for like, I was only carless for like a few weeks. I needed to like really ensure what was gonna go on with my insurance, like what they were gonna cover if my car was a total loss, if it's if I can like still fix this like how long is it going to be in the mechanics and the fucking shop like I needed a time frame and I needed to know exactly what was going to what was going to happen for me to like take that step and either get another car get a rental or continue using you know my parents car my girlfriend's car you know wh whoever was being generous enough with me at that moment um and so, so that was that. Um, I ended 
ended up getting this this car. Um, I think it was like days before my birthday I got it, which was kind of awesome. Uh, what else, you guys? I don't know. My hand is getting tired. All right. Well, I'm gonna cut this off and it says I'm gonna be at the studio in like 50 minutes. So I'm gonna cut this off. Um, depending on how long this story was, I'll either cut it or I will make a part two because I have to post a little bit behind the scenes for y'all when I get to talk to yours. It's gonna be a creative shoot, so we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. All right, you guys, so see y'all in a little bit. Bye.